I always heard this was an urban legend, but you guys actually do this. Get together and do a toast. Pat, I don't know if this is such a good idea. It's not like it's the only one they have. Well, then why couldn't you bring one of yours? What did you want to accomplish with, with the series? I think the, the goal we've talked about all along is telling the history of the NFL uh, in an informative yet entertaining way. The different stories, the different places, the different people uh, that have been a part of this incredible 100-year journey in, a, in an entertaining way. How did you end up putting Stick'em on you? Well, Fred Belitnikoff wore Stick'em you know, throughout his whole career. That's why he wore those high socks. He'd kind of have it on his uh, high socks. He'd tape his forearms. He'd have it there. He'd have kind of different places, kind of like a, a pitcher, like Phil Necro well, used yeah. to you know, have the... Gaylord Perry. Yeah, yeah. Gaylord Perry, exactly. Went to, out to California and just kind of learned about Stick'em, uh, how he did it. And, you know, Blitnikoff and the Raiders, they were, they were kind of on the edge, if you will, maybe over the They're edge. They're always on the edge. On the edge. Well, I want to watch this. You can grab this. Where are you putting that? I got to hold right it. Right there. Okay. All right. And then get yourself a and, little and, bit more. Am I trying to put it where nobody oh, can perfect. see it? Oh, perfect. No, hell, it, they don't it, care. It, it was legal back in the day <laughs> or illegal? It was legal. It was legal. Oh, heck yeah. Raiders legal? Well, you know, NFL Raiders legal. legal. Okay, all right. How long did it take for you to take get the stick off? <laughs> well, he's got all the answers. He's got got paint thinner to help you help you get it off after. But he had unbelievable hands and what a great player uh, without it. And I asked about the gloves that these receivers are wearing today. He's like these gloves are more illegal than stick'em stick was. Yeah. Although you know there, it was debatable whether it was legal or not. But I actually I put it on. Fred uh, uh, shot some passes to me through the jugs machine. I was making some Odell Beckham one-handed catches uh, with this stick'em, and quarterback's always supposed to have decent hands. I've always caught the ball pretty well, but I was catching everything uh, when I had this stick'em on, so I could see how it helped Fred catch a lot of passes. You also did some physical work with Deion Sanders. Uh, let's, don't, let's don't insult the word physical. Okay? <laughs> well, how did that go? Well, like I said, back in the 30s, Quarterbacks play both ways, right? So I wanted to kind of learn how to be a quarterback in the 30s. I wanted to learn how to play defensive back also. I thought the, the perfect guy to teach me was the last true two-way player, Deion Sanders, who played wide receiver and cornerback for the Dallas Cowboys and San Francisco 49ers. So I was hoping this wouldn't make the, make the, the final edits, but it uh, looks like it has. You start right here. You want to get up on that toe. You want to weave right here. And I don't like T-steps. I don't like that. I like, it's like a bicep. Like if I see you right now, I'm throwing at you. Okay, right. let's drop the, Let's drop it down a little bit. Here, forward, forward. Okay, there you go. <laughs> there you go now. At an angle this way, let's go. No, see so you went straight back. You at an angle. Got it. There you go. There you go. There you go. Mighty gingerly, but it's nice. <laughs> I like that, I like that. I don't feel comfortable. I just, but, you, I, but you look good. I do? Okay. This, right. I mean, for, if Dion said I look good, I mean, that is a major compliment. He, does, he, doesn't, he doesn't give a lot of style tips uh, very often. So I, I tell people all the time, and they say, who's the best defensive bat you ever played against? Dion Sanders, hands down. He used to let receivers run by him more <laughs> just to let the, let the quarterback think this guy is open. Then he could accelerate and catch up to it and bat it away or intercept, intercept it. Nobody would throw to him because it was it was boring, so he said, "I gotta let the guy run by me. Maybe I'll get some action over here." So uh, there'll never be another one quite like him, I don't think. What was this, like your favorite thing that happened during this project? I think the opportunity to sit down with some of the uh, old players, uh, watch some film with them, talk about their careers, watch Super Bowl three with Joe Namath. Went to the field where Johnny Unitas used to play semi-pro ball after he was cut by the Steelers for six bucks a game. I just knew I wasn't going to have an opportunity to ever do that, something like that again. But to have the opportunity to talk to Montana and talk to Young, talk to Favre, talk to Brady, it, it was worth the time and the commitment. And I'm, I'm glad that I got to be a part of it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, highlights, and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.